Yo, hey guys, Nova here, and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Anniversary Edition. On the last episode, I've got the white file and brought it back to that old guy in the Windhelm. Also, we did a lot of enchanting and selling things. Now I've got like 20,000 gold. That's quite a lot, I think. Oh, and also, I sent the Jazargo back to college. It's no fun getting He should go and learn time. some things. Like, better spells, I guess. A few seconds for my supper is all I ask. Yeah, yeah, Lady is now back with us. Good. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more sausages. I'm cooking a special breakfast for a friend, and they're his favorite. Would your good friend be named John, by any chance? I've spied the two of you talking quite intimately. Lest you forget whatever you think you saw, Elf. Such idle talk can prove hazardous to one's health. Hmm. Interesting. What's the matter? You can't stand... I can't stand the wait. What? What they can stand? Side of a strong Lord woman. Spare a coin for a fellow Lord of Okay, okay. I see, I see. Golden Hills Plantation. Yes. Let's go to our plantation. Whoa, 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 whoa! I heard that. Here it comes. Look at the tail. That's something new. Quick save. I guess I'm gonna die. Okay. Incoming. Okay, that was wrong. But uh, I'm glad that I did it. Wrong. Holy shit. Okay. Is she using? I gave her a dwarven bow and she's using. I don't know what she's using. It didn't reach? Or what? new spells. Let's see. Chain lightning. Elemental bolt. 105. Okay. That's quite a lot of... 8 and 9. Jesus Christ. Cap tower. Let's just use... Electricity and stagger the dude. Blood Dragon. It's Blood Dragon. Something's new. Three. 
far as my Dremora guy. Oh, whatever. I love that impact thing. It's really helpful. Wait, I think I should hold the button for a longer. Owned? What do you mean owned? This is my house, no? Yeah, it's my house. Thistles here. Okay, that's our bed. Let's go make some babies. Still here. I'm looking to hire a steward for my plantation. Interested? Let's get going then. Uh, I'd be honored to be your steward. You've built a fine steading here. I recruit a farmhand to help with labor. I need to, to hire some farmhands to work for the farm. I'll see to it at once. Okay. I'd like you to purchase horse for me. Ah, uh, we don't need the horse. I'd like you to purchase livestock for the plantation. New furnishings for the farmhouse. Of course. What room would you like me to furnish? Kitchen, dining, loft, masters. Very good. Let's go. With I'll make all the arrangements. Bedroom. All right then. One, two. Okay, we can adopt two children. Right? Long life to you, Thane. Livestock for the plantation. You'll need to build a pen for it first. Ah. Okay, let's go with the things that I don't have to build first. You'll need to build a pen for it first. No, I know that. Of course. What room would you like me to furnish? Okay, let's go with a kitchen. Very good. I'll make all the arrangements. Alright. Farewell. What do you mean farewell? No farewell. Where 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 continue? Of course. What room would you like me to furnish? Uh, dining area. Very good. I'll make all the arrangements. Good. Mm -hmm. We're not done. Of course. 
What room would you like me to furnish? Well, have an enchanting club, loft, master bedroom. Master bedroom. Very good. Loft. I'll make all the arrangements. Loft is this area, I think, right? All right then. I am your sword and your shield. You'll need to build a pen for it first. Mm-hmm. Of course. What room would you like me to furnish? Alchemy and Chandic Lab. I don't know if I need that. Master bedroom. Very good. I'll make all the arrangements. Alchemy labs are everywhere and enchanting Until tables next time. too. What do you need, my Thane? Wait, what? All right then. Let's go. Wait, what? What do you mean? Okay, master bedroom. Look at that. That looks great. Right? How much gold do I have? Seventeen thousand. That was cheap. Yo, Lydia, what the hell? Okay, so I guess if she's a, uh, if she becomes that. I am your sword and your shield. Okay, I see. Until next time. If she's a steward, she cannot be a follower at the same time, and I cannot get her back. What the hell? Honor to you, my Thane. Purchase livestock. Yeah. Okay. All right then. I'm right behind you. Lead on. Okay, I think we can get the uh, steward. Uh, Someone else? Yeah. Alright, Thistle. We can do that. Okay, let's go sleep. 10 p.m. Perfect. So, let's sleep for like... 12... It's going to be... 10... 9... 8. Yeah, we slept a long time ago. Let's sleep for 10 hours. You're awake and feeling rested. What? Hello there. Sleep well. Astrid. What? Where am I? Who are you? Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? Oh, Dark Brother. Oh, you're wearing this seems to like that lizard war tried to assassinate me. You know about that? Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Mm. Problem. What problem? A problem? You see, that little Eratino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me, and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. Okay, okay, okay. You want me to murder someone else? Whoa. Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from... Well, that's not really important. The here and now. That's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on. See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe. And admire. Uh -huh. mm. 
Am I to take your silence as acceptance? Then you know where we stand. Make your kill and we're square. Repayment of your debt is but a discreet knife thrust away. Started with friends like these. Kill one of the captives. Oh. Fold him the fearless. Alea Quintus. Vasha. Is this about that raid last week? I told Holgrim there was no honor in killing sleeping men, but he wouldn't listen. It wasn't my fault, I swear. Would someone pay to have you killed? What? Oh, God. I don't want to die. Shh. Don't be afraid. You can tell me. Okay, well, I guess it's possible. I've been selling my sword arm for years now. It killed a lot of people. Could be someone wanted revenge. But, uh, but you're not going to kill me, right? Oh, well, who are you? My name is Fulltime. I'm a soldier. Well, mercenary, really. You know, a, a, a sellsword. I've lived in Skyrim all my life. That's all. I'm a nobody, really. So, can't you just let me go? We'll see. Uh, uh, what did I do? Uh, hmm. Please, whatever it is, I'm sorry. So, 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 Get so. Get these things off of me. Cowards. Who? Stealing a woman from her home for shame. Who are you? None of your damn business who I am. If you're going to kill me, just do it already. Esmara is my witness. If I didn't have this hood on right now, I would spit right in your face. What's someone the better half you killed? Excuse me. What kind of question is that? One last time. Oh, what? Someone pay to have you killed. I'm kneeling here with my hands bound and a sack over my head. And you have the gall to ask me that? What do you think, genius? I don't have time for this nonsense. I've got a home to keep and children to feed. Now, let me out of here! Vasha. Whoever this is, clearly we got off on the wrong foot. Ah, but no worries. <laughs> this is not the first time I have been bagged and dragged. <laughs> Come now, whatever the problem, we can talk about it like civilized folk, hmm? Okay... I think it's this one. <laughs> but I don't want to kill him. Ah, Varsha, at your service. Obtainer of goods, taker of lives, and defiler of daughters. Have you not heard of me? Perhaps I will have my people carve my name in your corpse as a reminder. Okay. What's the one better have you killed? Ah, have you not heard of me? Me? <laughs> Are you serious? Come on, you can tell me. We're all friends here. <laughs> The real question is, would someone pay to have me killed again? A day goes by without someone trying to cut me in the street. I get disappointed. Huh. Ah, Varsha, at your cert. Have you not heard of me? Perhaps I will have my people carve my name in your corpse as a reminder. Hello? Hello, I, I know you're listening. Okay. Huh. Uh, please. You what? Oh, please. You release me and I, I don't want to die. My associates will not cut you down like an animal and butcher you what in the street. What did I do? It is a win-win. Please. 
Whatever it is, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Now this one sounds like a thug. Just a simple thug, this one's mercenary. And she's like captive her children, but she's not afraid. Ah, oh, the feisty good wife. Quite the mouth on her. Someone must have wanted her dead. Right? Well, I don't know, maybe. Uh, so, who was it? Who had the contract? Oh, no, no, no. Don't you understand? Guilt, innocence, right, wrong? Irrelevant. What matters is I ordered you to kill someone, and you obeyed. So, I'm free to go? Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family. The Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road, hidden from view. When questioned by the Black Door, answer with the correct passphrase, Silence, my brother. Then you're in, and your new life begins. I'll see you at home. Bad and check yet. Remember, the sanctuary is in the southern pine forest, just beneath the road and away from prying eyes. I... I can hear you talking out there. Please let me go. I've done nothing to you. Hmm. Come now, whatever the problem, we can talk about it like civilized folk, hmm? Okay, let's see. Books. Dark Brotherhood Assassin's Note. As instructed, you are to eliminate the letters by any means necessary. The black sacrament has been performed. Somebody wants this poor fool dead. We have already received payment for the contract failures and the option. Okay. So, someone wanted to meet it to die. And sent Dark Brotherhood after me. I killed their assassin. And now they're they're inviting me to their sanctuary. Okay. Okay. Oh abandoned check, it's the same thing that I was looking a key for. Yeah, it's the same one. Okay. Alright. I see, I see, I see. Lydia, come on, let's go, it's, she said it's in the southwest, okay, here, half moon mill, lady stone, oh, I've been nearby, alright, let's go to half moon mill, half moon mill, There is that vampire woman. At least she looks like a vampire. Okay. Bad 
balance of power. Uh huh. Dragon Rapids of Skyrim. Go to Shrine of Dallas. Should go and complete some mini quests someday. With a friends like this, enter the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Alright, let's go enter that sanctuary. It's over there. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage in Riften. She asked me to hand out these notices to everyone I met. Looks like that's it. Got to go. A new lady in the orphanage? In the charge in the orphanage? What? Uh -huh. Consider adoption. Speak with Constance Mitchell about adoption. Wanted a good home. In these days of war and strife, the orphans of Skyrim are the true victims. Many have no one left to turn to and face a life of hard labor, poverty and misery. If you could provide a stable home for one of these innocent children, please consider adoption. Whether you choose to adopt for us or to take in someone closer to home, you can make a difference in a child's life. For more information, inquire with Constance Mitchell, Honor Hall Orphanage Rifton. Yeah, I should get the steward. I wonder if Jezargo can be my steward. I've got a bunch of followers. I should go and make them as stewards. Lydia. Oh, what? Oh. Let's try Fireball. 46, 46, and 50. Well, this one's much stronger. Elemental Burst, and it costs a lot less. 65. further okay yeah that hand 
to their brotherhood. What is the music of life? The lute? No, drums. Scream. Some kind of chore with the chanting. <laughs> Silence, my brother. Enter the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, speak with Astrid. Lydia is not here. Shrouded shoes, shrouded hood, shrouded call maskless. What? Shrouded robes. Sithis skull. Ah, at last. I hope you found the place all right. So, what happens now? Well, what happens now? is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. I am honored to be a part of your family, Astrid. Our family, my dearest. Our family. Together, united as one, the Dark Brotherhood can accomplish anything. But you must be anxious to get to work. I'm arranging a job, but need a bit more time. For now, go see Nazir. He's got several smaller contracts. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, oh, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The Armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your endeavors. Shrouded armor, boots, gloves, cowl. Uh huh. Who is the Night Mother? The unholy matron, the shrouded lady, the mistress of the void. She goes by many names. Ages past, Sithis gave a woman five children. She killed them to win his favor, thus becoming the Night Mother. If you believe that sort of thing. Today, she's... well, she's a skeleton. An ancient corpse. But more importantly, a corpse that's been brought to this sanctuary by her keeper. Hmm. So the Night Mother is being brought here. Yes. A few months ago, I received word from the Night Mother's Keeper that he had arrived in Skyrim from Cyrodiil. The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was destroyed, a result of the chaos caused by the war with the Thalmor. That forced a relocation. I don't know where the Keeper has been these past few months, but I recently received another letter. He's bringing the Night Mother here. Soon. All right. What if I get caught killing someone? Try not to. But I do realize it's sometimes not that easy. You may want to make a statement, or a contract may require a public killing. Murder is obviously a very serious crime, and a very high bounty will be put on your head in the hold where the act was committed. You can run, obviously, but you'll still have a price on your head. If a guard attacks, you can attempt to yield by sheathing your weapon. If the guard accepts, you can serve your time in a cell or pay your bounty. We've all gone through it. We do what we must to survive. But there is another option. Some members of the Thieves Guild in Riften can get their bounties erased for a price. Something to think about. Hmm. <laughs> 
Where do the contracts come from? They used to come from the Night Mother. Potential clients would perform the Black Sacrament, and she would hear their prayers. The Night Mother would communicate this to the listener, who would then dispatch a speaker to arrange the contract with the client. But that was a long time ago. There hasn't been a listener in years. Not since Cyrodiil was overrun in the war with the Thalmor. But people don't know that, so they still perform the ritual. And we eventually hear about it. When someone wants us, we find out. All right. Are there any rules I should be aware of? They used to come the night mother, but that was... But people don't know that, so they... Used to be the Dark Brotherhood was bound by five tenets. But we stopped following those years ago. All those rules, all that discipline, and look where the Dark Brotherhood ended up. We're the last of our kind, and we live the way we see fit. Bottom line, respect your family. Do that, and everything else will fall into place. Hmm, <laughs> well that sounds... So Ricky, what can you tell me about yourself? This sanctuary has been my entire life since I was a young woman. That's when I first discovered my, shall we call it, aptitude for elimination. I had an uncle, you see. He made certain unwanted advances. So I killed him and liked it. Then I killed again and liked it even more. And so on. I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Arnbjorn, rose to leadership, and now, here we are. Okay, I see. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. <laughs> again, again. Do the part where he tries to buy you some candy. Okay, okay, wait. Here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh yes, how about some chocolate? Oh yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop, through this alley. Oh yeah, very good, very good. Mine's dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful, such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! <laughs> so bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes, please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, oh, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. <laughs> Damned messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable! <laughs> 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 I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. Nazir. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Save the niceties for now. I have no intention of getting invested in someone who may be dead tomorrow. If you're still breathing in a few weeks, I'm sure we'll be the best of friends. Astra said you'd have some work for me. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. 
sounds simple enough. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Okay. I'm ready for the first set of contracts. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytilde, a mind boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Tell me, huh? Tell me about an audience. He lives just outside Anga's mill in the woods. He was once the miller. Now Papias is just a paranoid recluse who thinks someone is out to get him. Well, and he's right. So he's not a paranoid of the role. He's a hapless beggar living in some ruins just outside the village of Iverstead. Easy, even for you. Tell me about Baytilt. She separated from her husband several months ago. Now the two run competing mining operations. Baytilt's angry and desperate, a fighter. Okay. Happy hunting. Can he damage me? Welcome, my brother. Welcome to our sanctuary. Oh, I've made the right choice. Joining us, I'm sure you so far marked for the stories. Oh, oh, look at that. Uh, shouts. That terrain vitality is glitched or what? I don't get that. Hmm. Yeah, this is rather strange. Kill triplets secretly, and then have the whole thing laid on the mother. Remarkable. You give me too much credit. For how could I fail? I am, but after all, just a little girl. What threat could I possibly pose? Is this spider <laughs> a friend? Hello. That looks like a pet. <laughs> all right. There you are. Astrid's told me all about you. Heard she pulled the old choose your victim gag with you. Huh? I love that one. Yes, yes, you're the new family member. Let's make this easy. Consider me the cranky old uncle nobody so, talks to. True? You go your or way, I'll go rib mine. Rib. To kill triplets secretly, and then have the whole thing blamed it's on nice the mother. It's nice to meet you, Festus. Remarkable. <laughs> what can you tell me about yourself? <laughs> I like to say I was born with a wand in my hand. Well, not literally. You can see how painful that would have been for mother. But I was a prodigy, casting simple spells by one, completing complex incantations by three, resurrecting corpses by seven. Ha! Ah! When I was 13, I accidentally burned down the family home. Bit of lightning gone awry. 
Oh, but soon after I mastered my gifts completely. I went on to teach at the college. Left after two years. Too simple. Too safe. None of them truly understood the glory of the destruction school. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, what? You can teach me now. Remember, fireballs. You can uh, never go wrong. New brother. May I offer my most sincere welcome to our family. It's nice to meet you, Capriella. You certainly have a strange energy about you. I look forward to following your progress. But can you tell me about yourself? What a curious question. Well, I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. In fact, I once took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn, which I proceeded to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. I'm a woman of refined yet simple tastes. <laughs> Until next time, brother. I know what about you. Don't let my appearance throw you off. I'm older than you. A lot older. Getting bitten by a vampire when you're ten will do that to a girl. Oh, she's a vampire. Okay. I see. What's here for better sale? Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. My creator gave me a value. Aversion to shock. Target is 55% weaker to shock damage for 30 seconds. Okay. Damage, health, poison, rip, a recipe. Oh, she sells recipes. There's the ability potion recipe. Paralysis. Okay, so. So, so, so. Brotherhood. That's interesting. What can you tell me about yourself? I'm just a little girl. The Dark Brotherhood killed my mama and papa. And then they took me captive. Please, please help me. <laughs> Rather convincing, don't you think? In truth, I'm no more a little girl than you are. I was once, of course, 300 years ago. Vampirism tends to keep one remarkably fresh. Okay. Have fun. 300 too much years old lady. These days with knives and arrows. You could kill someone just as easily Gaston with a well-placed spell. My scribing tools are lost and I have no time for a lengthy entry. Anyways, it's taken weeks, but I have finally found it. The sanctuary of the Dark Brotherhood. One of them, anyway, in Skyrim under Forest Road. I've been watching them, the assassins. Their comings and goings. The, fo the foes have no idea they're being observed. My next goal is to somehow make it past the sinister black door into the sanctuary itself and then have time to even think about the dangers the truth must be known your latest well, exploit certainly has the sanctuary go. talking you must be talking about the caravan dog. oh he do must be outnumbered 20 to 1 through here i'm the perfect weapon my innocent childish form grants me nearly unrestricted access Poison or a good bite usually takes care of the rest. Okay. I like this place. They they all sound so friendly. And it looks beautiful, look at that. Tell me, brother, the story is true. The Redoran contract? Nice. 
much better than College of Winterhold. Let's go and tenets. Never betray the dark brotherhood or it ser secret shit. Or it's secret to do so as to can I write somehow? Okay. Oh wait, this is the same place. All right, all right, all right, all right. Stone bed. Must be that girl's room. Yeah. Oh wait, no. Or maybe yeah. Okay. Impressive. I'd say you'd earn your bonus on that one. What? You think me too old, too feeble? There is more knowledge in me than in two of you pups put together. All right. Oh, here you are. Can you enter in sight? No, she cannot. Look at that. She's not entering oh. inside. Okay. So, contracts. Narfe. Uh -huh. Which one is the closest to this area? Down star, and now this pipe is that must be that farmer. Bately, that miner, and Everstead here. Narfe. Let's go to Everstead. <laughs> This guy. I remember him. Who are you? What do you want? Oh, this guy. Oh, I remember him. I remember him. He was talking some really strange things. Yeah, yeah. That's the paranoid guy. Oh, that winter is so terrible. Who are you? What do you want? If you see Raina, tell her that Narfi misses her and to come home soon. Very soon. Soon. Soon like the moon.
Someone there. Do your worst. Mercy. I'll live to drink another day. Oh, Wilhelm about Raider. What? Wilhelm. Who oh, is Wilhelm? On the map. Guess we'll go and find it. Will help. Don't suppose you didn't chant my sword. Dull old blade can barely cut butter. We don't get many visitors through here, unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. What's the story with Narfi? Ah, he's harmless. He's been in a state ever since his sister Raida disappeared over a year ago. He just keeps to himself in what's left of his folks' farmhouse across the river. It told Narfish is coming back? I just said that to make the poor guy feel better. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Raida would gather ingredients from the small island in the river east of here. Then one day, she just vanished. I tried to look for her, but she never turned up. Okay. If you need a room, maybe a drink, you name it. Anything dangerous on that small island to the east? I've seen some sort of a cave entrance over there. Folks call it Geierman's Hall, but I don't know why. Probably best if you avoid it for now. It didn't seem to do Raider any good. Oh wait, I've been there. If you're... Let me know if I can get you anything. If you're headed up to the monastery, watch your step. It's a lot. Oh yeah, I've been there. Ah, uh, that's... 
of that island. It's over here. What business do college majors have in a place like Sarthar anyway? It's a place for oh. the dead. Here she is. Roy this necklace. Let's tell Narfe the bad news. Probably the good. It depends from which perspective you look at it. Who are you? What do you want? If you see Rada, tell her that Narfi misses her and to come home soon. Very soon. Soon. Okay. Soon like the moon. Uh -huh, if I you think... see Rada, tell her that Narfi misses her and to come home soon. I think Very I soon. cannot. Soon. Complete now that thing. Alright, this now goes to Narfi. Soon yeah. like the moon. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's hard. Is this her necklace? Raider, you saw Raider. Did you tell her Narfi cries? Did you her tell bones. her Narfi never said goodbye like mother and father? If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. Need a room? Maybe a drink. You name it. If you're headed up to the monastery, watch your oh. step. It's a long hmm. way. Down. What do you want? All right. All right. So, Narfi, do you want to know something about. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. And in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. I could do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Okay. Be careful up there. My goodness gracious. Who are you? What do you want? Do you want that necklace? The mountain will eat you. Watch the mountain. Okay, Lydia, come on. Over here. Lydia. I've got your... I will remain on guard here. 
Okay, I'll wait here. That's bound. If they see. If nobody sees. It doesn't that. What do you think you're doing? Ouch. Okay. Now I think it doesn't that. Come on. Come on. Okay, I see. So, if I use fury he becomes he becomes like an enemy and i don't get bound right i wish right? i could make my deliveries more often but the roads get dangerous we heading out as you command my thane let's see i mostly deal with you're that one from the college. Heard about you. Bounty. Where is the bounty? Is there a bounty? Somewhere. Disease is contracted. Sure, what? Five realizations, one intimidation. Just clear the eighteen. Hmm. How can I check my current bounty? Can I? Critical strikes four. Sneak attacks four. Backsteps zero. Brawls one. Magic crafting general. Okay, let's save. Where I can check my bound. I don't know. Yes? Okay, whatever. It works. So, I use Frenzy, I mean Fury, and then kill the target. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Quests. Now this and this. 
Let's go to that farm. Drink. They're drunk. The Medes won't argue your ear off about which one should go first. Hail, friend. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. I would love to share a drink with you, friend. Ah, nothing like fine spirits to help raise your... Well, your spirits. Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Need something? No. I thought... Restores 20 points of stamina, regenerates slower for 20 seconds. Okay. So, what was that? Wait. The Medes won't argue your ear. Hail, friend! It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Uh huh. Ah, but you look tired. Come! Share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Hunting brew mead? You've never had a taste of sweet hunting brew? Why, it's only the finest mead outside of Sovngarde. Its sweetness is like a fair maiden's kiss on a starry night. And it's got enough kick to put a frost troll on his hind quarters. <laughs> but enough talk. Come. Won't you share a drink with me and my companions? I would love to share a drink with your friend. Ah, nothing like fine spirits to help raise your... Well, your spirits. Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Alright. Everything's in place. I guess not everyone wants to kill me. In this game. Let's break that. 20 seconds. Good. Right, so. Uh, that farmer over here. What's his name? Anodius Papius. Anodius Papius, I'm coming for you. Another dragon. Thumpstone. Thumb. Not thumbstone. Just a thumb. Get away from me! 
You're right to be paranoid, Anodius. What? What do you mean? Oh, oh, no, no! Death is highly overrated. Never should have come here. I didn't think what? you had the stomach for it. The fourth bounty. Fury is the answer. I don't even ha have to hide from anyone. Angus Mill. Always something going wrong. Mill needs more lumber. Okay. Okay. And the last target is in the Dawnstar. I need a stables. the horns. Here it is. Ouch. Need a ride? Where do you yeah. want to go? Don't star. Climb and back and we'll be off. Nice weather for a ride. Hope it lasts. Come on, Lydia, jump in. Let's go. Pure is amazing spell, I like that. Best spell, one of the best spells in the game. They say that vampires attacked the whole of the Vigilant, burned it to the ground. Never heard of vampires doing anything like that before. What? Wait, the whole of the Vigilant? This. I had it before, right? Wait, 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 I have to check that. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I had that. Hall of the Vigilance. Had it something new? Interesting. Huh. Burnt to the ground. How do I check? What they burnt. How do I know what marker they added? Holy shit. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Get up there.
They say that vampires attacked the Hall of the Vigilant, burned it to the ground. Never heard of vampires doing anything like that before. Hmm. I guess we can go and check that out. After we deal with the last targets. Yeah, let's go. Divine sakes, God. You've come to Dawn's Who do you think we're threatening with our old war Seems wounds? Everyone in the town not soldiers anymore. Years. Your man Horik is wearing his old legion armor. What should I make of that? He's proud of his service, Skull. The legion taught us. Okay. I have to hide after all. Okay. Don't have to hide too much. Alright, now we can go back to Nazir or go and check out Hall of the Vigilant. And yeah, we're going to check out that Hall of the Vigilant first. Yeah, let's go. We have to move. So at the beginning of the game I met those vigilant guys and they told me about this location. Now the guard says that this is burnt. What the hell is that? Looks like a giant. Wait, what? What's that? Statue. 
looked like a giant. Shrine of the Bella. Incidented Necro. Give me that. We can proceed further into the forest. Some brotherhoods whipped, shrouded armor increases poison resistance. Wearer, wearer is muffled and moves silently. Bows do 20% more damage. Whoa! Backstep does double damage. How do I backstep? Is that a sneak attack? Must be. Hello. They're fighting someone. Red Ruth Bass. Bandits. Okay, they can die. Well, yeah, you should stay away from. I would went to this place early game. Or would it be burnt too? Well, 
I guess that's it. That's it for this place. someone must be some kind of bandit camp <laughs> 